Welcome to Taskmaster. In a bid to win this priceless work of art, our comics are enduring task after task of metal testing madness. The series is still young, and so are two of our five contestants. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet them now. <laughs> they are Hugh Dennis, <laughs> John Lancet, <laughs> Lenny of the Fopey, Mark Goodrich. And to my left, it is my Admiral of Administration, Alex Horn. <laughs> you look nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> I've grown a beard. I shaved it off after last week's show yes, because you told me to. I did. And then you said, grow it back because you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I said that without a beard, you look disgusting. <laughs> you <did. laughs> and you look dis like a disgusting adolescent. <laughs> the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and today's prize category, which is, Alex? We've asked them to bring in their most boastful item. <whistles> OK, so the item you deem most worthy of boasting about will gain its owner five whole points, and whoever wins the whole episode will win five things that they can really brag about. The most boastful thing that you own? I own a cat that was previously owned by Darley. There's two things. I didn't know you were going to ask me that, and I didn't know I was going to say that. <laughs> um, Noel, what's your boastful item, and why are you boasting about it? I won the Sexist Man of the Year award. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> For the end of the year awards. I can't remember what year it was. It was ages ago now. Mm, but, 2008? Yeah. It's all gone since <laughs> <laughs> Page 46? Yeah, here it is. Noel Fielding. Boys and girls find him sexy. Yes. Fact. <laughs> Lolly. I have a certificate from when I was, I think, nine, because I was doing GCSE maths. At, at nine? At age nine. There it is. There it is. What did you do for the six years before you were meant to take it? What I did didn't you... actually do an exam. I just did of just... that level. Oh, OK. What? So this is... <laughs> Good stuff. Meaningless. No, no, no. As in, I was, <laughs> I was completing questions of level right. of GCSE. Maths. Yeah, but it's a but hollow did... certificate. <laughs> no, it's You're not. You're not going to be able to take Who that into maths? a job interview, are you? And say, when I was nine, I probably could have passed GCSE. Mel, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I got best rough boar, best boar in show, and. Best new ball, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all those awards for my guinea pig. All those awards. Here they are. Here we oh, go. Look at them. <laughs> if you won these awards with your guinea pigs as a child, it is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I was 45. <laughs> What did you bring in? I always wanted to win a prize for sport, because I loved sport when I was at school. Yep. And when I was 18, we got through <laughs> to the final of the National Public Schools Six-A-Side Football Tournament. OK. And I made the mistake <laughs> that let Hume Grammar School Oldham win 1-0 on the day. And I got a loser's medal presented to me by the manager, then manager, of Wolverhampton Wanderers. There it is. That. What yeah. a medal that is. Did you, did you understand what we wanted? <laughs> yeah. But in my mind, that is the most boastful thing. No, but you didn't win. <laughs> it comes to something when a fully grown adult exhibiting <laughs> guinea pigs, I know for a fact, is going to beat your end. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Joe. I, um, I thought about this and I thought, what is um, the thing that I tell most people about? And I realised that the proudest thing uh, that I have achieved in recent years is this selfie with the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> 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 
Lovely. It's very tricky, isn't it? Um, I don't I, think I... it is, really, is it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hugh's going in last place. Last place? Bang. <laughs> straight in, okay. because you can't boast about losing a match. <laughs> Fourth. It's the Chuckle Brothers. I... What? <laughs> Shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I will put him last. I mean. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to put Mel next because it is impressive until I found out that you were a, a middle aged woman when, <laughs> when you were exhibiting <laughs> guinea pigs. I don't know why I'm putting Lolly in second place because it's an absolutely worthless. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it goes. Life isn't fair. We all respect you. We all respect you. Yeah. This handsome devil is going in first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so not <laughs> Enough of all this boasting. Alex, what is the first task proper? Well, it has a bit of construction and a bit of sport. Ooh. <laughs> Hang on one second. Wow. Oh, keep the bar. <laughs> keep the basketball on the running machine for as long as possible. You may not touch the basketball or the running machine. Great. The running machine will be turned on in two minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. I can't touch it, but other things can touch the running machine and the ball. Mm. Um, I'm just going to get some equipment. OK. Is that all right? Yes. <laughs> A uh, prime example of the mum run. <laughs> 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 Lovely. Can we see some action, then? OK, do you want to start with the fashion boys, Joe and Noel? Yes, uh, the fashion uh, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is going to work or not. 30 seconds till it goes on. It's going on in eight seconds. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no! Put it back up. No, no, that's over now. <laughs> that's a valiant effort. Is it? <laughs> Hang on. 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 It's staggeringly bad. <laughs> staggeringly bad. Well, how, how quickly did the ball fall off? 3.75 <laughs> seconds. There's hardly any time at all. Three. Three. Points. I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> I can't imagine that Joe's was any better. 3.8. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's mm. tight. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.05, yep. 0. 0.05. <laughs> <laughs> OK, who's next? The women? Do you want to see the women? The women. OK. I thought I could blow this. You know how you keep a ping-pong ball up in the air? I do. I know. Here we go. So good. 
Oh, that was so... The shovel, man, that was so good. This is my biggest regret of my life. The biggest regret of your life? Yeah, I, when I die and they say, if you could do one thing again, this will be it. Really? Yeah. You're so close to genius if you just thought to hold on to the bucket. I don't know why I did it. Very impressive. It was a lot times. better than the boys. Uh, times. Uh, Mel kept on there for nine seconds, and it would have been a lot more if, if you'd been better at it. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Lolly kept on for 15.8 seconds, wow. which is the equivalent of 50. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's the equivalent of the ball travelling 52 metres, which is the distance <laughs> to the moon and back if you're 26 metres away from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a break now, but before too long, we'll see how shamed footballer Hugh Dennis keeps a basketball on a treadmill. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs> with me, Greg Davis, and, and, and me, Alex Horn. Alex Horn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> our five comics were trying to keep a basketball <laughs> on a frustratingly active treadmill, but we're yet to see Hugh Dennis's attempt. Can we see it now, please, Alex? Absolutely, we can. OK, but I can... Hang on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I wonder if you can get me a chair. A chair? Yeah, I'd love a chair. I'll give you a chair. Yeah, thank you. A chair, please. Just put it behind me, that'd be lovely. Thank you. It's quite boring, isn't it? I think you might be able to get me a book or something. Okay, I'll get you a book. Just place it on there. And sit on there, that'd be good. Could you uh, pass me the plug? The plug? Yeah. Just plug into that, Hugh. Still running. You've not touched the machine. No, I'm not touching anything. How long did you keep the basketball on the treadmill? It stayed on there four months until storm... <laughs> <laughs> until Storm Doris came. And... <laughs> Not to decide. Wow. Yeah, so Hugh Dennis wins it and then goes Lolly, Mel, Joe and Noel in last place. So there Bye. Hugh Dennis! <laughs> and so we can have a first look at the uh, scoreboard. Yes, and there are three people in second place, but Lolly Adafopi is in first place. <gasps> so there we go. It's tight. <laughs> Very good. Well, I hope we're going to have a lovely creative task next, are we? Oh, yes. Uh, no? Yes? <laughs> yes? Yes. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, so am I allowed on the carpet? No. I think... Oh, I've got a good feeling about this. Paint the best picture of the Taskmaster. Only the paint and brush... ..may touch the mat, easel and canvas. You have ten minutes. And your time starts now. First of all, I've got to get to the easel, cos I can't touch the mat. Is that right? I've, I've, my head is swimming with ideas already. Also, you must smile at the camera with increasing enthusiasm every 30 seconds. <laughs> you have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right in thinking that only Joe was asked to start. <laughs> <laughs> this can't possibly be fair, then, because <laughs> my time was taken up smiling at the camera. <laughs> right, then, I know that everyone will have worked out there's a way round 
painting directly on the canvas, no one is going to attempt to paint from the, that distance <laughs> because these are clever people. Yeah, you can't do long distance painting. Who would do, in their right mind, would do <laughs> long distance painting? No. So, who's first? Joe and Lolly. <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Happy with the face? Oh, that was close. <whistles> Thanks, Lolly. Thank you. <whistles> Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Lovely smile. <laughs> Can we see any more? Yes, there were 20 smiles altogether. Ah! We can see them all! I counted 16 lovely smiles and four difficult poo faces. <laughs> <laughs> but what were the paintings like? Lo Lolly, you, your system was absolute <laughs> mad. <laughs> you can have a look at the picture. Can we see them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've got to say, Lolly's is not a huge surprise. <laughs> but given that he was tasked with smiling and he was stupid enough to paint Good from thing. a distance, <laughs> that is incredible, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows, before the show, I, have to, I famously have to remove the knitting needle from my neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's next? Well, uh, we're going to see Hugh. Can I just remind the rules? It's slightly complicated. Only the paint and the brush are allowed to touch the mat. Fairly clear, so... Yeah, I mean, that was absolutely crystal clear. Yeah, only the paint... Or the brush. Or the brush are allowed to touch the mat. Touch the mat. <laughs> Hugh? Ready? <laughs> Oh. It's quite pop art, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> and the pencil, pencil brush. <laughs> what were the only things that could touch the mat? Only the paint or the brush was allowed to touch the mat. Okay, so you can't throw anything you feel like uh, down to the mat mm. and just walk across it. It's an out and out disqualification. Right. No, oh. what does that mean? Does he have to leave? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just for this round. Okay, oh, yeah. all right. You can see his picture if you like. Oh, oh I like that. Oh, oh it's really a shame. Great. It's nice. It's when I famously grew my hair all the way round my head. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? It's Melon Noel. Good. Um, am I allowed to bring the easel over to me with something, an implement? What was it? Only the paint and the brush. Right, that's an easel. Yes. That's a palette. Yes. Roller. That's allowed to touch the mat, isn't it? <laughs> Bit closer to the easel. Now, how's your art? Uh, really bad. <laughs> He's got hair, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, yes. Big old mouth, look. Mm. Pallid, quite pallid, isn't he? <laughs> oh, make the eyes meaner. Mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Help me out with some of those. 
He's got hair, has he? <laughs> mm. Loads of it. Mean eyes. Mm. Big old mouth. Mm. <laughs> He's pallid. quite pallid, isn't pallid. he? Pallid. Pallid. What's your problem, mate? <laughs> Look you in the eye. That's all right. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, two, I mean, two things strike me. A pa pallid, big mouth, no hair, for you translated as a gibbon. <laughs> and no, I cannot believe that you know my sex face. <laughs> Judge him. I think I know you're first, but I don't know the rest. Yeah, well, uh, anything that shows me as a sexual gladiator is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> well, I'll accuse him last place, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Zero. I'm because afraid. he didn't understand the rules. <laughs> uh, Noel first. I think that to be able to paint what Joe painted from a distance is so impressive. I'm going to give him second. Uh, Mel, you're just very, very fortunate that I like Gibbons. <laughs> And we'll pop you in at third. third. And, uh, Lolly, I mean, you're very lucky not to be coming last. <laughs> there we go. So, Mel Fielding's the winner of this task Bye. as well. Yeah. Yeah. OK, time for a commercial break. Enjoy it. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster, where five boasting celebrities are playing for each other's most boastful items. <laughs> what we got next, Alex? It's time for the first team task of the series. Oh, Ray. lovely. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, isn't there? Thank you. Hello. Lolly Ada Fepe's here, but she's not meant to be here. Hello, Desky. Oh, oh. oh. hello. No way. <laughs> what the hell is going hello. on? Should, are we going to start? Well, why not? On the flower volcano. <laughs> Scarface. Do you did that there. Do you want to read it? Or it's a baking show. What is that? Land the flower on the target. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Land, Land the, the flower, flower on, on the, the target. target. Oh, OK. <laughs> you may not leave the bandstand. Most flower lying loose on the target wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. I think we've got to do it with balloons, right? That's got to be but the loose. Most. It's got to be loose. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. You keeping them? I'm keeping them. Are you? going to melt them down. Right. Oh, we're off. Now we're going to get going, aren't we? Wow, we've only got 20 minutes. So, yeah, we've teamed them up. We've got TV's most popular double act, uh, Mel and Hugh, and they're against... <laughs> and they're against Joe, Noel oh, and Lolly. We've got Joe, no, Joe, Noel and Lolly. But I was going to say Joe, Noel and Lolly, but it didn't work, cos Lolly's pronounced... But it looks like Joe, Noel and Lolly, but it didn't sound like it. Have you had a stroke, mate? <laughs> <A little bit. laughs> anyway, Mel was calling Hugh something different, though. Desky. Yeah, Desky. Why was he called Desky? He was called Desky because... At university, yeah. he was yeah. a swat. I work quite hard. <laughs> Desky, then. OK, Desky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the target currently is there. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, but the target we can bring doesn't... it. So we you can, can bring, bring the target it. here. Down, by down to there. Down and then to just here. Go... Yeah. And then you just drop Boom. this stuff on it. <clears throat> right. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Go, Hugh. Come on. I don't think this is going to... Oh. No. Oh. Right. Right, come on. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Cut that. Cut it there, are you yeah. sure? Yeah, hold on to it. Where did it go? Has it sprung back? It's gone down there. That's a disaster. Absolutely brilliant. So maybe you can tip the target. Good action, Hugh. Lost the dart. Bloody hell, this is tricky, isn't it? What we're going to have to do in the end is just fill popper doms with uh, flour. Hugh, roll bombs. Throw those. Roll bombs. Oh, yes, good. Just throw the whole bowl. <laughs> pop 
Popper bombs. We've got quite a few. Popper bombs. Popper bombs. Oh, and it would. Oh. Boom. I'm going for the funnel. Oh. Two minutes. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Here we go. Nice, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, interesting techniques were developed throughout the... You're both Oxbridge educated, I'm led to believe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the desperation of filling a funnel full of flour... <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> there was... With the poppadoms, there was a system, <laughs> we can fire them over, and then in the end, fill a funnel full. <laughs> Chuck it over. Mm. How did they do that? Well, they had five kilos of flour to play with. They got 193 grams of flour on the <laughs> table. <laughs> Is it Joe Lolly and Noel? Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. Or is there some sort of pulley bowl, system we bowl, could create? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get this sort of onto the bandstand so we've got, like, a pulley system. Oh! That's so good, though. This is a tough task, I'm saying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yes! That's, no, it. Mate, that's, that's it. That's it. So now, oh, look, we can pass table. things down. We can pass things down this. Attach it to this with a clip. Do you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good idea. It's going to work, though. How are we going to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, look! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> if it was a better sort of pouch, that yeah, would have that... been genius. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple of these on the right, go. Right, let's try them. Ooh! <laughs> Hello, friend. Now, what are you doing with a fox? Can I cut the fox open? Like a drug mule. <laughs> 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 You've got to the pot. Put flour in the pot. <laughs> Seven pots <pops> done. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh, what about making it wet and turning it into, like, snowballs? Okay. Loving that. Hey, look, these will work, I think. You're right. Look. Oh! I love it. That would be... Yes, Gales. Oh. Yes, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just throw everything. Out. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, We're not done. Right, time's up. <laughs> you can stop throwing things at the table now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I mean, that was like a condensed version of Lord of the Flies. <laughs> <laughs> there was absolute logic. There was <laughs> the drug fox mule. <laughs> the wet flower from Joe, an absolute genius, genius stroke. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> we've got three <laughs> lunatics just... <laughs> Well, we were confident, and then we thought, let's throw a trestle table off <laughs> a bandstand. And I thought the trestle table was madness, but in case you didn't catch it, what Noel threw off was a, a full gas can. <laughs> so they did well. They got 675 grams of wet flour, which I then dried with my Bunsen, and that was 217 grams of dry, loose flour and he, he on the actually project. did dry the flour. Unbelievable. Sorry, Desi. But there's one other Ooh. detail. They had slightly longer. I don't know if that's fair or not. Oh. Why? Because Noel meddled with my timing system. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wait, it, have you got proof of that? Luckily, yes. <laughs> Your clock's not moving. Did you press pause on it? I that? did not! You did press pause. <laughs> That was not me. No, press pause on the clock. I absolutely did not. <laughs> 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 well, mm. oh, no. <laughs> What don't we countenance on this show? D dancing. Cheating. Cheating. <laughs> cheating. <laughs> if anyone's caught cheating, they lose all their points, as do their teammates. No. Not, well, hang on, all the points. Not all their points. Not all their points. I was going to say. No, no, only for that round. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
So just to clarify, we're saying the, the youngsters get zero points and the parents... The, so the, <laughs> the parents get five points each. I'm afraid they do. That's the way it is. OK, Madeline, you're the winner. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, what's next, mate? We've got a simple but complicated task. <laughs> Hello there. I like it when there's a, when there's um, a variety. An egg, a balloon, some bread, some rice. It could. It's almost um, a meal, isn't it? But possibly one in North Korea. A bit of horse, a bit of rice, a bit of egg, and a balloon. <laughs> something I'd make at art college. <laughs> yes. 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 Where's the task? Oh, there it is. Without touching the egg or the egg cup. Get the egg into the egg cup. You may only use the equipment currently on the table. If you touch a piece of equipment that another contestant touches... Ah! You will both receive a one-minute time penalty. Per piece of equipment touched. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. So I can touch anything, but if anybody else touches it... But I'm not allowed to touch that or that. Wow, OK. Fastest wins. OK. Your time. Time starts now. <laughs> Absolutely fingers. Who's going to see first? Well, I've decided to show you both Joe and Noel. That doesn't necessarily mean they've used the same thing, but... It... Yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> fastest wins. Your time starts now. Your time now. starts now. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done? Well, thanks. Thanks, Joe. See you again. They get a one-note time penalty, but they... Uh... But the technique was delightful, oh, wasn't it? So swift. Bread two... glove. Who doesn't like a bread glove? Bread glove. 2.5 seconds by Noel, 2.8 seconds by Joe. So swift. Just bop, bop, yeah, it? but it shows great intelligence. Bread. Bam! There Bam. it is. Egg. Bam! Bam. Bread, isn't it? Bread, bread. Do you want to see how she did it? Yeah. OK. OK. Bread and the chopstick. Egg, the obvious combination. You will not see a more tragic sighting <laughs> in any care home across the land. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to be dignified, though, didn't he? With his little chopstick. He softened the bread. He softened the bread, he made a little hole in it. <laughs> Maybe I overthought it a little bit. <laughs> you overthought it for one minute, 40 seconds. Did I? Wow. Plus one minute, plus one minute, so that's three minutes, 40 now. Oh, well done, mate. Because you all use the same bread. Exactly, now. <laughs> I hate to leave you all on tenterhooks like this, but adverts are literally what makes the world go round. Literally. <laughs> See you soon for the final part of the show. Part four of four, and there's a live task just around the corner. Where are we, Alex? Well, they've all been trying to get an egg into an egg cup without touching the egg or the egg cup, Greg. Yes. But it's not that simple. If they use the same egg-shifting equipment as one of their rivals, they gain a time penalty. Unfortunately, by this rule, all three of the men have suffered a time penalty because they all picked up the bread. OK? Do you want to see Lolly next? Here it is. Without touching the egg or the egg cup, OK.
That is the sort of innovation you get from the youth. <laughs> That's a young person using mm. a trendy product, blue tap. <laughs> You've never even heard of that, Hugh, have you? <laughs> Was the time. Well, she used her gadget uh, and it took 28 seconds. She thought for a bit, which is sometimes a useful thing to do. So she's in the lead. But crushing into the lead, I would say. So it's just Mel Gedroich to see. You ready? Yes! Here we go. Time starts now. Okay. Right. Um... Oh, so, oh uh, yeah. Somebody might, I, yeah. Somebody might have touched those already. Oh, man. Why is, that, why is that there? I just touched it again. I just, look, I mean, I've touched them all now. That's just, I'm sorry. Why is, why, is there, why is there a horse there? They're going to canter over. <laughs> oh, you see, that's good. That acts as a sort of bread glove. Exactly 57 seconds now. But then I've got a one, two, three, four, five, six-minute penalty, haven't I? Only if everyone else has touched. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that I really enjoyed that though. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, which bit of it did you enjoy, Mel? <laughs> I like touching all the items. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear Hugh? audibly sigh, knowing he was off the hook during that. <laughs> <laughs> she was a lot quicker than Hugh, 57 seconds, but she has... Um, she touched everything. She touched everything. So she ends up with a score of 5 minutes 57, whereas Hugh got 5 minutes 40. And then it was 3 minutes 2.8 for Joe, 3 minutes 2.5 for Noel. But Lolly wins it with 1 minute 28 seconds. Oh, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. bang. What's that done to our scores? Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Three people in joint first place. Lolly, Mel and Noel. Wow. Yeah. Anyone could win it. Anyone could win it. <laughs> Enough of you all sitting there. Could you please head up to the stage for the final task of the show? Oh, <laughs> there they all are. Smock the week. And beneath their smocks, Greg, they've each got a bucket of balloons, <laughs> some sellotape... Right. ..some rubber bands and some string. OK. Mm -hmm. Well, to formally read out the task, if that's all right, I'd like, uh, I'd like Joe to do it. OK. What a great honour. <laughs> you can't use your hands if you want to pop that open. <laughs> a little bit quicker. A bit quicker. The moving sequel to My Left Foot. <laughs> Looking at the taskmaster at all times and with your arms always beneath your hairdressing smock, attach as many balloons together as possible. You have a hundred seconds. Longest balloon chain wins. Okay, on my whistle, please, guys. On my whistle. Yeah, don't you start attaching balloons to each other now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Joe may have ruptured his perineum. <laughs> OK, shall we start it? Longest balloon chain to win. Your time starts now. You look at me, look at me! <laughs> you keep looking at me when you're doing this. How's it going, man? Really, really strong. Look at him, look at him, please. Look at me, Lolly! <laughs> One minute left. One minute left. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at me! No, look at me! <laughs> How long is that balloon? How long is your balloon? Oh, look at him, please! How long is my balloon? How long is your balloon chain? Mess, is it? <laughs> Ten seconds! Not ready. By the way, five seconds. Look at him, look at him. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> Comfortably one of the most erotic experiences of my life. It was very arousing. <laughs> it really was. I spent the whole time taking my pants off and putting them back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I look forward to your balloon chain being dragged out. <laughs> Should we start with that? Start with Desky? Let's start with... Uh, Do you mind just passing the Let's see what Desky's been up to under his smock. Can I just give you... Yeah, there. What, have, what have you done? <gasps> Jesus Christ! Whoa! Oh, my God. Good. Yes, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six. Six. Let's see what Mr. Lysith has done. Yeah. Oh, where's the end? Oh. Ah. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh. It's a three balloon chain. It's a three balloon chain. Lolly, you had by far the most intense stare during that act. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Good, good. Oh. Oh. I don't understand it. <laughs> Did you say make a crazy balloon squid? <laughs> <laughs> there are ten balloons in it, but it's not as long as Desky's. I'm going to say it's a four balloon chain. Yeah. It's a four balloon it's chain. It's a four balloon chain. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> It's all under there. All there. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, oh, six, well. seven. seven. It's a seven balloon chain. It's a seven balloon chain. <laughs> that is impressive. Oh, yeah. Just careful. That is not the balloons or the smoke. <laughs> Ah, double ender. Oh, that was attached. Mm. Look, this was attached to that, and you mm. look, you haven't done it properly. You destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> this was attached to here, and you pulled it apart. Okay. One, two, three. That's, I deny pulling apart the end of the chain. He did right. pull it apart, <laughs> Greg. Four balloon chain. Sorry, Noel. There's another one, look, and there's the evidence at the end. Look, yeah, the groove. Yeah, but I could, I could say the same of this. <laughs> that's, you know, that's now an eight balloon chain, Noel. Yeah, you know, we could all do that, couldn't we? It looks like the guys who had to design the tube map have just had a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Edgeware? Right there. Hey, I'll tell you what, why don't we all come down and we'll see how that's affected the final scores. Uh, Can you have a debrief, please, Alex? Well, uh, it seemed to be a generational thing. Joe just got three, Lolly four, Noel four, but the two uh, senior citizens... <laughs> she got six, and Mel got a chain of seven balloons. Oh, well done. <laughs> well done. So, Sorry. dare I ask, how's that affected the final score? Uh, Joe, unfortunately, had 13 points in the end of the episode. Uh, two people were tied in second place, but they weren't Mel because she wins the episode with 20 points. Oh! <laughs> Mel is the proud winner of loads of stuff to brag about. Oh. Please, Mel, go smugly, as smugly as you can to the stage and collect your prizes! <laughs> So, what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that Joe Lysett has a lovely rictus grin. And we've learned that the adult Mel Gidroich exhibits guinea pigs and likes touching things. Well, our winner has made it to the stage. A big round of applause for Mel. Thank you for watching, everyone. Good night! <laughs>